bad. Is that better? Hi. I was trying to play charades. Turns out that's not a fun... That's not a fun time. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on where you are on this beautiful planet. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another ad hoc live stream. Lovely to see you all loud and clear. Very good. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I don't know why that um, wasn't working, but I also have to fix another thing. Is it... Which one is it? Oh, boy, that one. We'll go with that one. Okay, great. All right, excellent. Can everyone hear me loud and clear? Good. Are we good? Marceline, hello. Lottie, I saw you in here. Hello. Neurospicy, hello. Actually, a bear, hello. One, hello. By the way, instead of pinning the thing, I've just decided to pin the first comment in the chat, so one, you're the winner for today. Who knows how long that'll last. Uh, Mick... <laughs> Good to see you, Moz. Jingle Cat. Hello, Panda. Hello. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all. Thank you for your patience during this challenging time in my life. Uh, DX. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, reaction channels. Am I right? Uh, MB. Thank you for the super chat. Lovely. MB says, it's okay. I can still hear the kazoo in my head. <laughs> I didn't realize you guys were sitting here for like four minutes. Just, just, just watching. Not listening. Just watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so sorry about that. That's my that's my apologies. Thank you all so much for being here. Today we're going to be reacting to not one, not two, but three pieces of content. They include Shopping Day Lush, Mall Lunch, uh, and Giant Tiger, rawr, uh, followed swiftly by Out of Shape at the Upper Canada Bird Sanctuary Canada Vlog. That is... It's <laughs> a lot of Canada. Um, those are both by uh, the... One and only Miss Foodie Beauty. And then we're going to touch base with Miss Amberlyn Reed. She recently uploaded, I'm in a relationship. Stepping on the scale and turret hall. So that'll be fun. <laughs> that'll be fun. I was cruising in silence. That's exactly what was happening. I was actually trying to play charades. I can't remember what the phrase I was trying to say was just then. I think it was five words. First word, why? Second word. Maybe it was only four. Why am I quiet? Something. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, my name's Zach. Lovely to meet you if you're new. And thank you very much for returning if you are coming back. I am not a mental or physical healthcare professional. Just a guy who lost somebody who talks about things on the internet and watches way too much of too many people. I'm also not here to... Uh, bully, shame, hate, harass, or humiliate. Just here to talk about the producer montage content that we see here on this platform because it's all about what choices, choices about what we say. Choice about what we put on the internet. Choices. And Nerfy, you've made a choice today. Hello, lovely. Thank you so much for the support. Um, Thank you very much for gifting 10 channel memberships. Welcome or welcome back to Lucy Jane, Lutinez, Tina, Petty, Hello, Alexandra, Kim Possible, Sassafras, Amay, Jamay, Jamie? I think it's meant to be Jamie. Uh, and Katie, lovely to see you all today. I hope you all have a fabulous day. And thank you so much, Nerfy, for the gifts. I appreciate it. And Patty, hello. Uh, so many choices today. All right, hopefully we can get this one up and running. Sorry I'm late. I just I had such a massive day today and I did not have time for dinner. Fortunately, I prepped something, but it was just like bad chicken and rice. It wasn't even bad. It was just it tasted like nothing. It did taste. It tasted like chicken and rice. I forgot to season properly. It was terrible. Anyway, it's fine. Let's watch, um, let's watch Chantal and some shopping, shall we? What fun. What joy of joys. 1.25 times speed, I guess. Yeah, sure. Why not? We're here. We're here now. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Panda, I see you. <laughs> oh my god, hi Marissa. No, it's because I'm late. I'm so sorry, love. Sorry. Morning, Zing. Hello. Hello foodie. Oh, Nerfy, thank you for being here for two months, mate. I appreciate it. Nerfy says, of course, darling. Glad to contribute. No, thank you so much. I very much appreciate it and not at all required, but thank you for your generosity. Um, and now there are more people who get to play with fun emojis, and I hope they all do. Beauties? <laughs> hey there, Beezers. Boo, 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 boot. Moving on. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome back to another Canada vlog. So today I am going with some family members to have a wonderful day. We're going to go on a little road trip. Oh, this is the one where it's mostly voiceover and, like, B-roll, isn't it? It's okay. We'll try to make it fun. We're going to have... Ooh, Flower Angel Rave, you're doing dumbbell training? What type? Tell me all about the workouts. 
lunch. We're going to go to a park. Can we go back to mute for food? We're going to go shopping. I have some Lush gift cards that I need to spend. Good morning, Fred. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be doing all of those things today. It's a beautiful day out. and I'm Still better than Kuwait. I agree. I, I know that Poopy decided to take chat for a walk today. We will not be watching that one. No, no, thank you. Inviting you all along with us. So Yella, come on, let's go. Yella, let's go. At least the car moves faster than the walking, you know? Oh, MB, thanks for gifting uh, sub, mate. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, welcome or channel membership. Welcome or welcome back to Casey. I see you. Lovely to see you. I hope you're having a great day and please make sure you thank the lovely MB. Thanks, mate. Canadians drive on the right. So far, the most interesting thing that has happened. My, my memory that Canadians drive on the right. This is a foodie buying $300 in soup. Soup, not soup. Soap, yay! <laughs> not even an interesting road. No, it's a shame. You know what she could learn to do when she's doing these silly little road trips? Not silly, they're just boring. Um, she could put like a little map down in the bottom and do like the, a little like thing. I mean, maybe she wouldn't want to do that, but still. It would be far more interesting. Actually, anything would be more interesting. Cutting out all of this would be very interesting. First oh, up. oh, a big cow. Oh my God, they have a big cow. I'm pretty sure we have a big cow. Where's our big cow? Is it like, wait, someone in the chat will know. Aussies. Assemble. Um, the big cow, would that be... Where's Slim Dusty from? That, like... That... I swear there's a big cow down that way. Might not be a big cow. It might be, like, a big steer or something. Hey, shenanigans. Good to see you. She... Like, there's a lot of fleshing out. Yeah, this one's 17 minutes, and I feel like it could have been about eight. Or not at all. <laughs> good to see you, though. Uh, and Cor, lovely to see you. Thank you so much for being here for three months. Uh, sorry, 33 months. Um, and I hope your beard's doing well. Cor says, happy Thursday, everybody. Happy Thursday, Cor. Hope you're having a great week. The big bull. Oh, we do have the big bull, Leonie. You're right. Where's the big bull? The big bull. Australia. Oh, is it Rocky? No. There's Okay, there might be several. Big bull was a large, was, I don't like that, 14 meter by 21 meter. I can't do the conversions off the top of my head, chat, but any of you who are metric and imperial minded, feel free to jump in. Holston Bull fiberglass model located near Warchop? Warchop. Warchope. Warchope. New South Wales, Australia. Oh. Now there is one in Brock. Although there's an entire category of Wikipedia that has big bulls. Sit down, everyone. Um, we've got. A big Brahmin at the Yepin roundabout at Fairy Bower. I want to go to there. The junction off the Bruce Highway and Capricorn Highway. Oh, wait, that's Queensland, I think. Rocky. Yep, yeah, that's in Rockhampton. Santa Gertrudis. Who's that? Frank Ford Park. Who is this? Park listing 53 donors in recognition of the contributions Santa Gertru Gertrudis have made to the beef industry. I don't know who Santa is, but... Oh, my God, there's so many big bulls. There's like seven minimum. Allenstown, Rockhampton Airport. Rockhampton is no, known for big bulls, apparently. Median strip of the Bruce Highway. <laughs> well, that's a that's a tourist destination. <laughs> I've <never> heard one. <laughs> MB, thank you for the super chat. Lovely. MB says big cow in Highfield, Queensland, built in the seventies. Is it also fiberglass? Bloody has a note. Poppy, I promise I'm not leading you astray with this. Please look up Nickers the Cow or Nickers the Steer. Well, I don't see it on the official Wikipedia, but sure. Knickers the Cow? Oh, this is the... This is the... This is the giant dairy cow in the sea of... of regular-looking cows. I didn't realise that their name was Nickers. Oh, it's a he. He's a steer. Well, that's an interesting name. Maybe it was meant to be kickers. He's a steer and, amongst other things, a coach of other cattle. Oh. Well, there you go. Knickers. <laughs> oh, no. Is the stream broken? <laughs> I 
Did Greg have a moment? Sorry, chat. Big Bull in New South Wales had his balls removed because they blew in the wind and it offended people. <laughs> I, You know what, Leonie? I don't know if I've heard of a more Australian thing than the, the extremely large fiberglass cattle that the locals decided to build also had swinging testicles that blew in the breeze. That does... <laughs> I have a lot of respect for that. <laughs> I have a lot of time for for moving art, you know? <laughs> anyway, over to Fruity's big cow. Who's this? Who's this guy? Or gal? It's just see Non-binary pal. Who's this? Albert Dairy Farm to get some fresh cheese curds. Oh, okay. So this is the St. Albert big cow. Is that who it is? Fresh from their farm. <laughs> it's a combination of words. That they make daily. Oh, I love this. We're going to a dairy. Wow, a 2kg bag of cheese curds. 35 loonies. Oh my gosh, that would put me in a cheese coma. Chantel said I'll take two. <laughs> That's not shady. It's just one, the truth, and two, she do like some cheese. But uh, as much as I'd love to, I'm going to get the smallest bag they have. So yeah, I'm just going to get a little bag of cheese curds. Is that the smallest? Because I think there's a sign on the other side of that table that says... That one says 200. Is that bag that bag smaller than those... Oh no, they're all 200s. Uh, calm down. Calm down with the detective work. Smallest bag they have. So yeah, I'm just going to get a little bag of cheese curds. Sure, yeah, whatever. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm here in Canada. Why does she say KG... No, why does she say KG, say kilo? I, I don't know. That is definitely one of the weird, like, the very strange things. Because, like, we just say kilos, right? You don't need to say the grams. If you say kilo, we kind of understand what you mean when it comes to, um, to, to weight. How do we say, like, distance in Australia? I think we generally say the full amount. Well, we usually just say, like, three meters down the, uh, like, three minutes down the road. And that's like a hundred, hundred kilometers. But we say the full kilometers. We don't say like, oh yeah, like it's 50 kms to the next drop bear. Ks? Oh, I guess we do say Ks. You're right. Yeah, no, we do shorten it. We just don't say like kms. Ks or kilometers. I guess. Or maybe, like, time, maybe? Time to... Time to clicks. <laughs> Leagues. <laughs> and I'm just doing a vlog today. I'm doing a bit of shopping. I'm going to go to Lush. Right now, we're at Giant Tiger, and we're going to have lunch after. So, yellow. Whose face is this? Is this just... This might just be regular foodie. Hello, regular foodie. Uh, come with us. Just going to go see if they have anything of interest, maybe. I don't know. Just have a look around. Summer's coming, so cool items are important. Okay. Oh, ring pops. Fun. Drama Llama, thank you for being here for 14 months, mate. I appreciate it. Drama says, still hanging around like a mobile life form. <laughs> you love right back, mate. Thanks for the support. I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> still love ring pops as a kid. These are the cheesies. This is, this is adult Chantel's favorite. Well, not favorite. One of. Hawkins. Canadian. What is it? What's a Hawkins cheesies? Canadians, your turn to step up. What's a Hawkins cheesy? My it looks kind of like a biscuit. Is it like a, is it like a, like a biscuit? <laughs> Wallet for today. They're like Cheetos? Huh. Okay, so not biscuits. I might get some socks. You can always use some socks. It's true. You should always have socks. What? Chocolate? White, Chantal, I'm just... I'm gonna have to ask you to stop breathing heavily into mine and chat's ears. Please and thank you. Socks? Why can't cows wear shoes? Because they lack toes. Oh my gosh. Goodbye. I have so much time for that joke. Ooh, these are cute. Those are not. I gotta find a way to get earrings around my hijab. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know where the pickles are? And this is my casual outfit for today. I'm just imagining, because we've had the... Okay, no, we'll stop here. We'll stop. <laughs> we'll stop here. Hold on. Hold on. Who's this? <laughs> uh, 
Oh, this is just, this is, <laughs> this has put me in such a better mood already. <laughs> Milady. Um, Annie with an LSD. Hello, good morning, lovely. I hope you have a big cup of coffee. Annie says, really hard Cheetos. My oldest niece can eat them at five, but the baby can't at three. Also, they're like, like extra stale or like extra crunchy. Just tough. Gotcha. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for being here, lovely. I, um, it's good to see you. Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. At this, the world's most ridiculous hatch is the comedy queen. <laughs> This is a lot. I don't... I don't think it's good. I th <laughs> think it's bad. I think that... Um, I think that... Uh, sorry, I think that Fruity should not try hats on. Right? First of all, not try hats on in the store. Second of all, acknowledge the fact that she might have a slightly larger head than average. And maybe these, like... Maybe these seven dollar hats from discount stores just aren't gonna, aren't gonna, aren't gonna vibe. <laughs> this hat is so silly. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it's put me in a good mood though. Just seeing someone in a funny hat works wonders. MB, thanks for the super chat, lovely. MB says, is it the corn or saint in the fancy hat? It's very saint <laughs> Very saint Thank you for the super chat. Big head alert. Yeah. Why? I the, the thought I was having before we just got to the ridiculous hat was... I don't know. I've been... Look, I enjoy... I enjoy a discount store in my time. Oftentimes they will have very cheap energy drinks. Um, <laughs> but I've enjoyed my, I've very much enjoyed my fair share of discount stores. And it's fun. Sometimes there are like little gems and stuff to find. But I just, I, I could not imagine being, even, even something like a Kmart or a Big W or whatever, which tend to be a little bit busy and are a little different to discount stores, though, you know, kind of fall in that same vein of, like, go in, snoop around, maybe find something for, like, $7. I just... The the amount of patience I have for people recording in public is very low. <laughs> and I just can't imagine... Like, I don't want to be here under overhead fluorescent lighting trying to find something that might look nice on me and having just this... oaf trying on tiny hats and modeling them for her camera. Like, I mean, girl, get it, do what you want. But I, I just, I would have very little patience. I would be like, ex I'm sorry, excuse me. I need to get to that like bundle of shoes over there. Cause I need a new pair of thongs, but whatever. The plus size that goes up to three X meaning probably not too much will fit me here. This shirt for summer looks nice and light. I really like the style of this. Yeah, that does look nice. Oh, we can talk about fashions while we're here. So far, I'm not seeing... I mean, I think that navy and white thing might be nice. I don't like that pink and white tartan thing. That's... My eyes were drawn directly to that for Chantal, because that would be her. That navy and white one looks nice. Ooh, that... That saggy grey t-shirt is not, not for me. There's some jeans over there. They might be nice. Funnily enough, some of this pattern matching seems a lot nicer than Torrid. Anyway. I feel like in this space, in the in the um in the discount fashion space, just do yourself a favor, don't go for the patterns. Don't go for the patterns, stripes, sure. Make get them thicker and chunkier. Thicker, chunky stripes kind of look a little bit more put together and you can style them a little bit easier but just go for your solid colors go for that like that white shirt back there i'm like there's a there's a big blue patterned thing here and like an olive thing here and a like a white thing here and yeah just go for go for the solid colors you do yourself a favor because you can like you can style that up a lot easier than something like this fucking pink like pixel polka dot thing and this light blue white floral thing don't no no Treat yourself better. <laughs> Giant tiger. Like oh my god, look at these pants. Look at this pink and grey camo. See, look, if I'm... Okay, here's my thing, right? If I'm looking at this and I see $8 rack, sure. 
I'm going to assume these are leggings or like lounge pants or some or like trackies, tracksuit pants, something, right? Instantly in front of me, this grey and pink like camo look. I feel like Foodie would be all about. And probably the black and white speckle one to the right of it. But instantly in my mind, I'm like, oh, great. Go for the purple one on the left or go for that like minty green one on the on the right. Because when it's a solid color, no one like it. Solid colors just kind of hide the ugly a lot of the time. And so who cares if they're eight dollar pants? That's great. I love I love single digit dollar pants. It's great. <laughs> Some of my exercise pants were like four dollars. Well, they're not pants, but they're shorts anyway. Um, but yeah, go for those solid colors, not the just d d terrible patterns. Terrible. Terrible. Like I said, it's pretty much like a Canadian Walmart. As you can see, they have things for pretty cheap. So Ooh, those are animal print though. I take everything I, I said about patterns back about animal print. Pro animal print. <laughs> uh, Cozzy, thank you for be uh, being here. Blah, sorry. Uh, and thank you for rejoining the channel as a member. I appreciate it. And my thank you for the super chat as well. My says... She says, oh my gosh, like, Jermaine, <laughs> thank you for the super chat, lovely. Oh my gosh. Much like a Canadian Walmart, as you can see, they have things for pretty cheap. I'm not mad at the zebra top, to be fair. So it's Animal prints kind of get away with patterns, get away with the problem over just traditional patterns because I have a preference and I'm biased. Actually even cheaper than Walmart, I've noticed. They had some really, really good deals, actually. Yeah, so like some of these pants might be okay. I mean, actually no, I don't think any of these pants are okay. I don't I don't like any of these pants. Super thin like black and white striped pants just looking like I don't know. I don't like them. I don't like the blue ones. To be safe, I'd go for like the bigger gray striped ones, but there's a solid black pair there. That's the ones I'd be going for for 10 bucks. Love that. Oh my god, what the hell were these things called? These little, like, these things, they didn't freak me out, they just confused me a lot, because I was, I was very, tum-tums, is that what they were called? Something. Oh no, some sums okay. They freaked me out, man. Why are we, why are we turning beloved Disney characters into caterpillars? Explain, explain that to me. Has, you seem to know. Can you explain to me why we, why, I don't know if they're meant to be caterpillars or doorstoppers. I don't understand. I don't understand. Dollar fifty for a bag of these Epsom salts is a pretty good deal. So they are cute. <laughs> Simple explanation. Disney says we can sell these. <laughs> okay, noted. <laughs> I thought I I had no idea when they came out. I felt like I was very behind on something, as if they had like. Like a cartoon that went along with them, or an animation, or something. But they really were just Disney characters as caterpillars, huh? <laughs> They're laying on their tummies. Oh, is that what they say? <laughs> Morning, Lisa, good to see you. Oh, one, actually, that's a really good point. Something easy for kids to understand instead of complex character designs. That makes so much more sense. Disney would absolutely go for that. Yeah, yeah, okay, now I understand. That makes sense. So I'm just gonna get a couple of bags for ticking back. Oh, is it a phone game as well? Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm starting to unpack the sums now. It's back home, which I do enjoy doing. I'm gonna get one eucalyptus and one vanilla and probably just mix the two together. Oh my God. Sorry, are you mixing bath salts? This and one vanilla and probably just mix the two together. Eucalyptus and vanilla. I don't know. I think I like those those scents by themselves, not together. Anyway. Oh my gosh. I literally cannot even smell Hawaiian ginger without being traumatized from my teenage years. You guys remember this stuff? No, I don't. Please give me backstory, or don't. Lucky Elephant Pink Candy. What is this? Is this... Is this like candy... What do you call it? Candy floss? Fairy floss. We call it fairy floss. Um, 
candy. Cotton candy. Is that what you call it? I think so. I want the prize. Got some sauces here. Buy the box. Olive Garden Ranch. Ooh. P.F. Chang's Sesame Teriyaki Sauce. Okay. Buffalo Wild Wings. Arby's. Does that seem expensive to you for a bottle of sauce from a discount store? No? Oh, I don't know. I don't know about Looney's. Oh my god, craft! I spotted rice cakes. These are my favorite to snack on. I love the dill, and I also love the all-dressed. So, the only solution is get a bag of each. I found these gourmet popcorn flavors. Very interesting. I'm sorry, what was that first one? Get a bag of each. Orange and vanilla cream pop flavored popcorn. Orange and vanilla. I don't think I like that. I think that's no, not citrus. No citrus on my popcorn, please. I found these gourmet popcorn flavors. Very interesting. Truffle, truffle and parmesan I can get behind a little bit more, but orange? But not orange. Interesting. Would you guys try these? I love this dill pickle powder, but I'm not going to get it today. Oh, it's popcorn powder. How fun. So they had like a bargain sale section and I always check it out. They had some bargain sale section at the discount store. Oh, I would have so much fun trying to make sense of what's going on there. What is this? Sugar cookie sleigh ride. Ma'am, put it down. <laughs> put it down. No one needs this. No one needs this in April. This needed to be thrown out in January. <laughs> Why is this here? Tea on sale for less than two bucks. Oh, it's tea? I thought it was... Was this sugar cookie? Wait. It says sugar cookie sleigh ride. What What do you mean tea? Oh, it is holiday tea. Ew! <laughs> Sugar cookie flavored tea? What? So they had no. like a bargain sale section and I always check it out. They had some tea on sale for less than two bucks. And I think this milk thistle is good for you. I don't think, I don't think I want this. Milk thistle roasted barley orange peel. There's a vanilla bean in it apparently and natural flavor of some variety. No. I don't see any tea leaf in there on that ingredients list. I know it's meant to be a herbal tea, but no, thank you. That's fine. Keep that for December. No, thank you. You, isn't it? Um, yeah, right in. Exactly. I'm good. No, thank you. Then they had these like bargain bin can of peanuts and ketchup and dill pickle are my favorite. So I hope they're not stale. Who even eats these giant hosts? What is this? What is this? chat you'll be able to help me out she seems to be just talking to the canadians today what's this whispering fairy i see you i hope you're feeling better <laughs> the ingredients are water and flour that's what is a hostie what is a hosties just yeah describe the thing exactly all i know is that it's made from water and flour so for all i know it could be play-doh I'm gonna find out, chat. Let's go let's Google. Oh no, my mouse. Where's it gone? No, nope, it just died. Never mind. Is it a big toast? Is it a big toast? Is it like a um like a biscuit, like a cracker? Almost. What is a hostie? Canada. Um retailers de hosties. What is? No, I would like it in English, please. English. <laughs> Um, oh, is it, it's a wafer. Host pieces. Okay. What is that? Wait, has it got to do with... What is this? Canadian treat made from communion wafer leftovers? Is that what this is? <laughs> Do they mean host is in like, like Jesus? <laughs> if I read the chat, I'm not about that life. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's it's leftover communion wafers. The host of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Host pieces. <laughs> 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 the things I didn't expect 
to see on Chantel's, like, discount store haul. <laughs> Oh, that's really funny. I was thinking hostess cakes. Yeah, I was thinking, like, Twinkies. <laughs> that's so weird! That's so weird! That's weird. <laughs> that's really weird. Okay, well, I mean, they got to come from somewhere, I guess. So, <laughs> why not here? <laughs> As a non-Canadian individual, me, that's weird. Yeah. That's wild. That's so funny. <laughs> Who even eats these giant hosts? I don't get it. Like I don't either. Why is it there? But I think I think the brilliance of that like befuddlement is really lost with Foodie because she doesn't actually explain what the fuck it is. Like if she told us, like, hey, this is a product made out of leftover communion wafers or whatever. Like, yeah, we could have been on board with the confusion and and hilarity, but instead we had to fucking find it out ourselves. Come on, Chantal, you're hosting this. <laughs> MB, thank you for the super chat. MB says, discount. <laughs> Only body of Christ, thank you for the super chat. Brandon says, um, the theological implications are staggering. There really are. Thank you for the super chat, Brandon. I appreciate it. Because normally, like, well... I don't know, in my experience, there wasn't necessarily a tithe associated with my, um, with my crackers and wine, but, like, they were just given out for free. But yeah, you can go, buy, you can buy, buy a slab of Jesus. Um, Zing, thank you for the super chat as well. Zing says, instead of body of Christ, it's body of Chris. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Oh, boy. Oh, that's, that's weird. That's really strange. Like, maybe I could see it if you went into, like, a, a specialty baker or something. But like it just it just packaged up in a discount store. That's very it's very sad. <laughs> anyway. They sell Cineplex movie theater nacho cheese now individually. Interesting. Yes, that is. It's shake and bake, and I helped. Yeah, I am a sucker for shake and bake. Yeah. My favorite candy in the world is sour <laughs> smoothers <laughs> since I'm a kid. But I'm not gonna get them today either. Is that a a candy in the shape of a dummy? It is. What's this? Biscuits! You Cookies. know you're at a bargain store when there's a huge bin of stovetop on sale. Vegetable thins are some of my favorite. I feel like she's zipping through all of this and not giving... Like, she remembers that she's got an international audience, right? That some of these things she might need to explain. Right? That's... Okay. Crackers as well. They're really good. I just... I find this so interesting because obviously not Canadian, not from Canada, not been to Canada. Um, I do find it really interesting because we have so, like, I think globally we have a lot of, like, similarities in things, and specifically in discount stores, I feel like there are so many similarities in, because it's, it's a one-stop shop for everything. So it would actually be really interesting if Chantel had fucking taken a moment to tell her audience what the fuck stovetop is, because, hey, surprise, we don't have stovetop here in Australia. I have no idea what that is. I think it's, like... I think it's stuffing that you make in a pan or something terrible. Some people some people will probably be upset with me and say that it's really good, but that's my understanding of it. But I don't know. Uh, MB says, thank you for the super chat again, love. MB says, a little bit of Jesus with some <laughs> blue cheese and Maggie beer queen space. Oh, a little, like a little, um, like a little cracker. Yes. No, I see it. It's That's, that's wild to me that you can just go to a discount store and buy Jesus. That's wild. That's like, and the fact that it's called that, you know, like, would, like, like, are, are people searching for that? Are people on the lookout for the host of the Holy Spirit in the discount bin? I know a pretty princess who would love to sleep in this cute basket. And here's their. They don't have anything to do with Jesus, Greek. You don't. Oh, I'm very confused. <laughs> very confused. Well, see, this website here, and I should have read it out. Um, this is a blog from, like, sometime. It says, the snack that's not quite holy. This is a story about a Canadian treat made from communion wafer leftovers. Okay. I don't need the whole blog. I just need the explanation. No, no. Come on. We know... I know what a communion wafer is. 
You can buy those little extra bits from online from multiple sources, including a Vatican-affiliated website which sells them in a few versions. Like Toasted. <laughs> That's fun. If you just saw the bag with no additional context, you would easily mistake it for any random crunchy thing you'd find in a vending machine. Oh, this is this is one from Spain, maybe? Um, they go by a few different names, including host scraps and host pieces. In Quebec, which appears to be the first place the product was mass-produced, no pun intended, that's funny, um, and sold in regular retail settings like gas stations and grocery stores, they're usually called host cuttings or retails de hosts in French. Because the wafers are made only with flour and water, they have a light, clean flavour, or fact mentioned as a selling point in every story I found, like this 2021 piece from somewhere. Interesting. Okay. I mean, this seems to be on board with the fact that it is just cuttings off of the bread. The Pope gets his cut. <laughs> that's that's what I had no idea such a con. Well, of course there would be off cuttings, but I had no idea such a concept concept would exist. I would I would think that those off cuttings would be like I don't know, given to to charity to serve up with like soup or something. I don't know. There you go. They retail them out. Like home section, we can get all kinds of cute little things. For your home, like bathroom goods, soap holders, towels, and some really cute dessert candles. These are so... Okay, they're very cute. So cute. A bit of nostalgia in the game section. Oh my gosh, they still sell Operation? Yes, foodie. They do still sell Operation. And Twister, by the looks of it. And a slip and slide. That's like the ultimate jump scare. When you're trying to get that little bone out. Which bone was it? I can't remember. Anyway, there's a hard bone to get out. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get that little bone out which bone was it i can't remember anyway there's a hard bone to get out and that buzzer would scare me <laughs> uh. <laughs> and just a warning to all your haters if you don't leave me alone you're gonna get super soaked oh yes buddy oh yes this mug oh gosh she's such a weirdo mug says la vie est belle bien sûr la vie est belle Oh, we're back in the car. Okay, what's that? Perkins Family Restaurant. Okay. Brandon, it was really funny. She knew what she was doing. <laughs> Not what? No, the most important um, topics of discussion today, bloody. Yeah. <laughs> Lily, I ignored that specifically. Thank you. <laughs> All right, found a parking spot. Now we are at the shopping mall, and it's time to get down to business. Let's get down to business. I am seriously going to do some damage at Lush. I cannot wait. Oh, it's got a little home. I'm not going to have to watch you taking stairs, am I? Oh, Lord. Ma'am, we don't. What the fuck? <laughs> what do we... Sometimes I have a moment of clarity where I, like, step out of myself and think, what the fuck am I watching? And it's watching Chantel take four stairs. Hi, Cosmic. Oh, ACP, hello. Oh, fun, a closed cinema. <laughs> what do you think this is, like a... This is like a Tuesday at like 2 p.m. First, we stopped into this really cool local store called Ottawa Loves Local, and they just had like a whole bunch of different really cool craft items. Uh huh. Like um, earrings, candles, bracelets, you know, stuff like that, homemade tumblers, different kinds of homemade. Easter bath bombs. Ooh, 50% off treats from local vendors. Look at these cute cups. 
Note to self, you the shit, mama. All right. Send candles. I know my next tumbler. Yeah, they were like just the candy treats. Cutest. Candy treats. And these like chili flavors. Chewy's not a flavor. They were gummy candies. I didn't get any, but I really would be interesting to know what spicy candy tastes like. And these cute dragons and like. Ooh, they're like 3D printed. That's fun. I think this is the 3D printed section. Little emoji things and keychains and this weird cup holder. Yeah, I bet you would, Ryan Reynolds. I bet you would like that drink on your face, wouldn't you? <laughs> and she makes herself laugh. I want these earrings so bad. I didn't get them, but aren't they so pretty? Like, I love them. Anyway, they have all kinds of homemade tumblers and mugs, including these really cool, like, horoscope mugs. I don't think there's anything in there. I don't think there's one for fries. But yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Ooh, gal. All right. I think you should probably, while you're in town, you should probably go to an optometrist or something, because I don't know whether or not the lenses in your glasses are actually prescription or if they're just plastic. Um, I would go to an optometrist and maybe ask them if they've got a frame that is more flattering and suitable to your face. Not flattering in the way that it looks better. I think the glasses look fine, but you can legitimately see where, like, the bridge of the glasses is smashing into the top of her nose, and, like... The actual frames are sitting, like, in her cheeks. Like, she has an indentation from her glasses. Yeah, she's gonna need, she's gonna need a wide frame, a wide bridge on the nose, and just, like, like, that looks sore. That looks painful. Yeah, ouch. Like, wearing glasses, like, for long periods of time... I mean, I only know it with, like, sunglasses and stuff, but p for long periods of time can be painful enough. But, like, go get yourself... Just go go to the optometrist and ask for, like, frames that will suit your face that isn't like this. That looks... Ouch. All right, and here we are, Lush. Woo! Like I said, I have some gift cards for my birthday to spend here, and I cannot wait... Do they have any peeps themed bathware? Bathware, bath goods. This scent hunts my ex. Oh, sorry, hunts? Haunts. Also hunts. Haunts. Haunts my ex lovers. jokes really write themselves but okay peach piss that's the scent we're looking for today <laughs> all right so i'm definitely getting a huge bottle of this oud hess if i'm saying that right shower gel okay. it smells delicious and amazing this posh chocolate body wash which smells like chocolate and smells amazing I'm probably made with chocolate if you turn the label over also going to get some yummy custard body wash it smells sweet and delicious uh -huh. and some posh white chocolate and rose why is everything food flavored except the oud is everything food flavored? I wanted to try some of the perfumes I've never smelt before, so I saw that they had a perfume card here, and I decided to smell one called Alina, and it actually smells really, really good. Isn't there something about when you spray it on the card, you should wait just a little bit, because otherwise, if you shake it like that, all you get is top note? Is that is that right, or is that the rubbing thing? No, the rubbing thing is you demolish the top note. The shaky thing is you like aerate the top note i don't know i can't remember anyway whatever she's getting smelly goods i have to research the story behind it hi justice i definitely have to pick up a couple of massage bars i know my husband will love these so i'm gonna get an after which has magnesium i would not i would not recommend chantelle get these massage bars for um poopy because those are going like you touch them and they melt they are m like mostly shea butter from what i understand shea butter or something else something they're like super oil based so you don't want to i've had like I've, I've spoken about like lush stuff previously um i just know so many of these things just like 
they're so heat sensitive that the minute you like breathe on them, they just turn into a puddle. And I'm gonna get a therapy massage bar. Also Three hundred dollars in soap seems like a waste. I mean, giving Chantel three hundred dollars worth of Lush products. I don't know. Three hundred dollars is a lot of money. Like I would understand a hundred dollars that could probably like set you up for like decent supply for a while. But three hundred dollars on like soaps and. I guess, like, if you were going to overhaul your entire regime and get, like, creams and oils and hair stuff and body stuff, you could you could spend the $300. It just seems really... I don't, I don't know. It just seems like a lot. Out of my face. Plus, the other stuff with Lush is that they don't have a lot of stabilizers and, and um, stuff in them, so they tend to go off much quicker than traditional... Like, like go and buy a bottle of moisturizer and it's going to last you like a year or two or whatever it is but if you get same most similar moisturizer from lush it's going to last you like three to six months max Ace moisturizer so i'm going to pick up my favorite which is skins shangri-la i love their soaps as well so i decided to get a couple of those I <laughs> hearing someone's really investing in chantel smelling better yeah i guess i mean it is kind of like the one out of everything i kind of feel like it's the one thing that she enjoys and it is interesting because she obviously got, received um starbucks stuff that she was adamant about using even though she was on a boycott and blah 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 um but like if you were like based <laughs> here's a shady question based on what we know of chantal what would you gift her and it can't be nothing <laughs> like even it, i think we probably know about chantal's interests and likes more than some of the people in her actual reality which is kind of sad and scary um but yeah, like, I, even for me, all I can think about is, like, Starbucks, Lush, without being shady. <laughs> not that I would want to be nice to her, but still. If her fam- if you were- no, okay, let's not go down that rabbit hole of if you were one of Chantel's family members. I actually ended up getting, um, a goddess soap and a strawberry heart soap. And I oh, a fidget toy would entertain her for years, Steve, but you're right. I also got a piece <laughs> of uh, Sultan of Soap. Oh yeah, pay for Julia's um, vaccination in Spain. That would be a good gift. That would be an excellent gift. Which is a classic, and it's one of their best. So yeah, the goddess also, I was so surprised how nice it smelled. Is that all you got for 300 bucks? One bag? Surely there's a second bag. Now, I don't know if you've ever had Colonel's popcorn, but it's so good. So I decided to pick up a small, cheesy dill flavor. It's one of my favorite flavors. Pretty much anything cheese and dill is a win. So after the mall, we were pretty hungry and we decided to stop at the green door. Oh, uh, this is the, um, the, oh, vegetarian. I thought it was vegan. Plant-based? Something like that. It is probably the best, arguably, vegetarian restaurant what was it that she really liked to get from from here was it like a, a cheesecake or something there was something that's not me being shady that's me trying to remember there was some there was something in particular that chantel really really loved getting from the green door or told her she did because she said it in the same breath as a particular salad i think she had there's there's one piece of content where she's like eating green door in the car i can't quite remember a <laughs> not broken blood sugar monitor and a halal cookbook that's a great gift. <laughs> oh, carrot cake Meta Metallica? Yeah, I think it was carrot cake. I think you're right. I knew it was some kind of cake. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was the carrot cake. That's right, yes. Because she was like, oh, it's healthy, you guys. And everyone was like, Can, do you know the amount of like fat in that carrot cake? <laughs> in Ottawa. And we love it. So we haven't been there in a while. But boy, let me tell you. Soup of the day, red lentil and potato soup. Thing Ooh, biscuits. Was so expensive. Wait, you're called them biscuits? I thought you called it bread. Expensive. More than I Beans and mushrooms and cucumber salad. I remembered. So yeah, just be wary. You pay by weight. Um, and That's such a wild concept to me. A buffet situation type of deal where you pay by weight. Maybe it's not that wild. It's hard to really know how much everything is going to cost. I guess it kind of makes sense if this is primarily like a pack your own stuff and take it away kind of deal. Well, they weigh it. So but you'd really have to be smart with like what you get if it's by weight. You want the... I guess you want like... I don't know. Well, it's vegetarian, so there's no meat meat. But 
yeah, I wouldn't... I In this situation, I would probably be going for things that I wouldn't be able to put together myself. Yeah. I'm picking up some marinated mushrooms. This is like the cold salad bar. They were out of a lot of things because we came after the lunch rush, but that's broccoli salad, some marinated spring greens or spring mix. I am having some of their spicy kimchi. It's Ooh. very delicious. They make everything in-house, every day fresh. Ooh, nice. And here's the hot bar. We have vegetarian lasagna. Ooh, this quiche. Onion, tofu, quiche, rice, spicy peanut tempeh, mashed oh, Peanut tempeh. Potatoes with cheese and kale. And this is what my plate ended up being piled on with. And that's a spanakopita, this triangle thing here. Uh -huh. It has spinach and feta cheese and dill. And this... Did you not just want to get a second plate? Actually... Because this seems pretty... I don't know. It It's confusing me because the cut of those beetroots is very large. It is a $40 plate. That's a lot of money. $40? That's a lot. That's... How much is that... Wait, how much does that weigh? What's the metric on this? Is it like $20 a kilo or something? Whenever she rang it up and told she me- She did pile it on. I mean, she's got like, she's got rice under this chunk of lasagna. I don't understand. The price, I was in shock, but- $40 plate, Sansa. Oh, so Sansa did the math. Sansa said 2.7 pounds. So over a kilo of food. <laughs> wow. That's like 1.25 kilos thereabouts. Wow. Oh, that's true, Lottie. Maybe not. But I did get quite a bit of food, but man, that was pricey. Overall, the ambiance. Yeah, that lasagna looked dense shenanigans. I agree. But this place is just really cool. And again, they make everything fresh and organic. So it is worth the price in the end. Yeah, I mean, $40 is a lot. To me, $40 is like a few meals worth of groceries. But I mean, if you're going to have a nice time out. But that plate was filled. Filled. It's such a beautiful day out. Anyways, guys, I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. Oh, where are we now? Yeah, very much like a treat lock, I agree. I gotta walk down this little scary alleyway to get to the car. <laughs> the rest of the people I'm with today uh, are looking in like a bookstore and honestly, um, I'm just not interested, so I'm going to the car to get water. <laughs> All right. Chantel said, I want to go sit down. Guys, while I have a few moments alone and I'm waiting for people to come back to the car, I'm just going to end the video here. So I just wanted you to come shopping with me. I know you guys like shopping vlogs sometimes here and there. So yeah, this is just um, an example of a kind of day out we usually do shopping. To be fair, it was far more exciting than half of the stuff she's done in Kuwait. And lunch or something like that. And uh, we're actually just going to go to park probably. So um, I might get a few snippets of that, but I'm going to end back alley bees the video here so and the weather was beautiful like it was just amazing weather today so very nice day thank you for coming along and i'll see you guys in the next one bye why is this still a minute and a half of the vlog what is this sorry this is hurting my eyes this content and the next piece of content in the same time because i swear the next piece of content opens up with her talking about a lake uh, a river it's a goose oh and a beaver Is that a beaver or just a piece of wood no it was a beaver God, two Canadian icons, a goose and a beaver. I think it's a family talking in the background. Back. Hey queen, it's okay.
why this wasn't part of the vlog. Why did, wait, we were just in the car. <laughs> okay, I'm done with this. Time to, time to move on to Chantal's next piece of content, which was uploaded today. This is Out of Shape at the Upper Canada Bird Sanctuary Canada Vlog. I... <laughs> This, the title of this vlog just made me think of when Chantel had to write out FUPA and then had to also write out what the acronym stood for, which is, um, fatty upper pubic area, but she spelled upper incorrectly. She spelled it with one P, so it was UPA, fatty UPA pelvic area. Then, I, then in my head, I was trying to do the acronym for Upper Canada Bird Sanctuary. Ux. There you go. Anyway, let's watch um, Chantal's nonsense. Yay! Mm, at speed. Here we go. Let's go! Yeah, upper fupper. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> Hi, guys. Just a shameless cameo plug here. Get your cameo today and don't delay. Personalized video just coming your way. <laughs> oh, I have a better one. Hold on. Um, Please hold now. Hi guys, g'day. You asked for a kazoo emoji and we delivered. Actually, um, now you can access all of these fun emojis from the Pulpy Syntax channel membership. And I'm not gonna show you a website, but you can just click that button down there to join or not. It's up to you. But thanks for being here. Mm, yay. All right, on to, on to birds. Oh, it's muted, sorry, on to birds. Are going to enjoy some nature. Camp Kagama? At the Upper Canada Migratory Bird Sanctuary Campground in Ingleside, Ontario. Okay, so it's U C M B S. Akmubs. Akmubs! So, Yella, let's go enjoy some nature and see what we can find on this beautiful spring day in Canada. Yella, let's go. Let's talk about birds. Welcome, welcome. But there's a deer. Oh, there's two deer. Wow. Wow. I believe it's a doe. A deer. Hi. A female. <gasps> Subhanallah. There's three of them. Oh my goodness. Hi. <laughs> uh, I believe they, they look like white-tailed deer. <gasps> I may be incorrect, but there's many that's very cool. Different walking trails here. Great place to come. Just what you do me <laughs> for a walk in nature. You know, I've lived here my whole life and never realized how gorgeous the nature is. Like, it's like I'm seeing it all for the first time or something. No, it's it's really beautiful. You know, you're talking to yourself. Why are you saying no? I'm really enjoying myself alone out here. Honestly, I love it. Oh, really, Nimby? That's cool. Is she crying? She's, I mean, I think she might have hay fever. She does have quite watery eyes in this, yes. But she's never seen Canadian beauty quite like the Upma. Yeah. Upma. It's gorgeous. Not Upma. <laughs> and you know what? It's cliche, but life is so much more fulfilling when you appreciate the really small things like that i know i need a manicure bad look at this ew it's just so there's so many sounds and like just when sound things sound sticky you know just i don't i don't i don't i feel like it would it's just it sounds sticky Sounds like it smells bad and it's sticky. Um, emotional support muffin, lovely to see you, my friend. Thank you for being here for 21 months. Support muffin says, hugs from Nova Scotia. Thanks for being amazing. You thanks for being amazing. Thanks for hanging out with us, mate. I appreciate the support and I hope you're having a fabulous day. It's good to see. You. Hello, hello. Bad. <laughs> Look at this. Ew. I'm gonna get my nails manicured, but uh, no color. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wear, I'm just gonna get like the cuticles removed, nails trimmed, stuff like that, cleaned up. Nice and clean. Okay, I mean, I treat yourself, I guess. I, I, for me, I just do that myself, but you treat, treat yourself. Manny petties all around. All right, now to go over here. <laughs> God, if I have to at least listen to her wet, hot breathing in my ear for more than 30 seconds. Thank God. I said what I said, Eric. Okay, we're going to the bench. Memory of Mary Kathleen Nugent. Okay. Donated by Friends of the Sanctuary in 2007. Oh, that's sweet. Look at all these people. You know, I was just thinking, like, it's windbreaker season, but, like, is it just me or I remember windbreakers, like, making the wind colder against your body because like they kind of stick to your body when the wind hits them i don't know you have the most redundant thoughts anyone else what are you talking about crickets no okay <laughs> <laughs> what <sighs> i'm loving this day Another nice pond here. Also, I don't know what's going on with her audio, but it's like, it's out of sync. Birdhouses everywhere. <laughs> These are called inside pods. Trail goes in like a circle. <laughs> Back to my car. <laughs> it's a big nature reserve. And there's the St. Lawrence River, I believe. Okay. Again, we didn't need this like play by play. You could have you could have put this in post so we didn't have to listen to a whole host of math sounds. <laughs> I remember there being rumors as kids. Like we're we're here. We're here. we're being held here. But there's bodies in the river. Surely there are. <laughs> what a grim thought. Thank but you for sharing. Knows? Kind of morbid. <laughs> nice birdhouse. Right. Hang tight, everyone. There's another bench on the way. I'm gonna take another break. Okay. In memory of. <sighs> then last step, we'll be back to the car. And I have, actually, I have an appointment <laughs> at two thirty. So. Oh, what type of appointment, Chantal? Do share. <sighs> yeah. I know no one else understands my journey. A few of you do, but... What's this? Sorry. What? Yeah. I know no one else understands my journey. A few... What about your journey now? Sorry. What about your gurney now? You do, but... Or maybe those who do don't really say much. <laughs> Shut up. No one fucking understands what you're doing. You are leading life pissing into the wind. Okay. But what? It's okay. You don't have to. My life to live, you know? Anyways, thanks for being here. I guess you're welcome. What are you talking about? Oh, is it the therapist appointment? No, but this was recorded yesterday. Hmm, interesting. Little birdhouses around here. Again, this is where, so, <clears throat> pardon me, this is where someone else who might be making this content would just um, mute you and lay over the top of this, like, common bird species that we would find in the upper Can Can Canada bird sanctuary. Or, but, sorry, um, or like, yeah, birds that would be found in these bird houses or 
native wildlife or literally any talking points that isn't just, ooh, windmill. Choking on Canada. That's what it was, Marissa. This is closed, but <laughs> weird taxidermy things going on here. <laughs> Nature. This music is sending me also. Seems like this should be this sounds like it should be on like a me mini a me? We mini game. What is wrong with my words today? No. I think the majority of this video is actually just Chantal breathing in our ears. Bird observations. Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog. I'm here at the... This is the same vlog. Bird sanctuary. Were you hoping to get at least two vlogs out of this visit? I think you were. I think you failed. Uh in Ingleside, Ontario. So, yeah, I saw some cute deer already. Just a reminder, chat, please make sure you're drinking your water and wearing your sunscreen. Vitamin D is very important. Stay skin safe, stay hydrated, take your fish oil. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. And also, like... Go in to purchase new new products from Lush or whoever, just with like tempered expectations, you know. Also, get do a do a like a patch test first, just to make sure it doesn't doesn't um, negatively affect the skin. Just take it once. Goblin, you are very welcome. Fish oil. I take fish oil. I take like five tablets a day. Of fish oil. Because I my knees are already crunchy. They're going to be terrible in the next, like, 20 years. So, got to get in early. So nice, and it's so peaceful out here. There's, like, no one around. So I'm just going to see what I can see and do a bit of exercise. Yellow. Different places you can look out here. Might be out of breath. Yeah, and we all get out, like, everybody gets out of breath. It's fine. It's whatever. Everybody has different levels of stamina. Um, but if this were a... I don't know. We've called this... I guess out of shape is in the title. But if this were meant to be like a walk with me situation type of deal, just make it that. Like, don't don't try to hook me with the bird sanctuary. I was half interested in this. I still am half interested in this. I'm just not interested in the Chantel portion of this. What was that? I want to know about the birds. Hey, Sky Fieris. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> There's like no one out here. So yeah, I'll be out of breath because, well, I'm overweight. Uh -huh. And I have asthma, so yes. It's kind of windy though, chilly. Geese. Hello, geese. <laughs> I see a lot of potential here. A lot of geese this time of year. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hello, chipmunk. <laughs> Let's see if I can zoom in more. That would be helpful. I mean, yeah, sure. Oh, that's terrible quality. <laughs> that's not great from here either. <laughs> hey, guys. So I'm just having a sit down here just to soak up a bit of sunshine oh lord if there is one way to turn off her audience this content is it vitamin d and yeah there's all geese around so i'm just hanging out with the geese <laughs> and it's a really gorgeous it's it's a really gorgeous day like the sky's blue you know there's no rain it's not too hot see influencer marie has returned but which is how i like it so yeah, but it's a bit cool. Is she healing her sciatica with the sun again? Eric, she might be, actually. That's a, that's a very good question. She may well be visiting the bird sanctuary to, you know, moon the sun. 
So I guess I'm kind of like surprised how quickly you can lose your stamina for um, exercise. And this should not be a shock to you, Chantal. We've been through this so many times. You know, I just, um, yeah, I'm just like not in the best of shape. <laughs> and especially just today, I'm feeling, um, you know, just a bit tired and um, like I can't walk too, too much. So I am just going to enjoy nature and do a little bit as I can. And, you know, just take it day by day beyond that try to walk a little bit every day but I definitely want to bring up my stamina for um, exercise it really bothers me that I can't walk very far without being uncomfortable and I know there's a great deal of discomfort I'm going to be going through for the next while so I'm bracing myself for that <laughs> but even if it is uncomfortable getting out here it is important for me to bring my physical you know my um, physical abil abilities the stamina conversation has been had a bajillion tea times. Yeah, it does. It does suck. And it's something that you've got to work on and you shouldn't let it, you know, slip away from you if you have the, the ability to, to control all of that. But how dare anyone criticize Chantal for her previous life choices when, you know, a lot of people in her audience were actively telling her, hey, maybe this isn't a good idea. Out of the trash that they're in right now seriously you know and i realize also that means eating healthy so oh my god sansa hi lovely to see you i hope you're having a fabulous day i heard you did the um the breakdown on the 40 dollar plate that's it's quite a heavy plate <laughs> hope you're doing well lovely <laughs> that's something else that i'm gonna continue to uh try and really um just eat healthier and a lot less a lot less Okay. So, we'll see how that, how this journey goes again. <laughs> Another health journey? Oh, how fun. But, um... Hi. Oh, a little bird. Oh, come back. Again. <laughs> but, um... Oh, who's this fluffy little guy? Who's this? What are you? Who are you? Chat, who's this? 2.7 pounds of food. That's... That's like... 1.25 kilos that's a lot of, that's a that's a plate it's a heavy plate who's this little guy it's a bird he's very cute <laughs> Derek <laughs> Derek the bird oh is a chickadee a tit I'm sorry what it's a tit bird <laughs> what he do <doing? laughs> he's very fluffy Oh, it's a little chickadee. Why do you call them chickadees? I don't think we have chickadees here in Australia. A black-capped chickadee. Are they named chickadees because of ABBA, by any chance? <laughs> I like his little beak. I like his little everything. Look at him. Kevin's cousin. <laughs> Interesting. There you go. Look at him. What a cutie. Hi. <laughs> oh my god, there's a squirrel in the background as well. This is more nature than I've well, I've seen from Chantel's Canadian vlogs in so long. Look, a chickadee and a little squirrel. Oh my god, look at you. I'm like Snow White. You are ma'am. Oh, I caught him mid jump. Chantel said I'm Snow White. No, but look at this. Look at this majestic little fella. Look at him. That's a jump. Oh, he's a red squirrel, is he? He's very cute. Look at him go. He just launched himself. Whee! <laughs> it's very cute. What a great pause. Hi. I couldn't get the... I could, uh, hold on, wait. I want to see... Oh Let's see if I can get way. Derek's friend. Huh? Oh, I know I can slow it down. That would be cheating. Oh my gosh, I'm like Snow White. Oh, too quick. Hi. Sorry, it's too speedy. Hi. 
Oh my god. <laughs> this bird comes to me when I call it. Hello? I think it's just hungry. <laughs> Annie, thank you for the super chat, lovely. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at his back. Oh, he's very cute. Uh, Annie says, when they chirp, they sound like chick a dee dee dee. Oh, don't say that too loud. Chantel might get mad. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> Aww. What a cute little bird. Oh, look at him. He's so handsome. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, it is so worth it to come out here and just said, Dee -Dee. spend some time. <laughs> There's so much nature and animals. That's so cute. I was going like... And this, these birds just kept coming to me. I'm Snow White. I know it. I know you. I walked with you once upon a dream. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. How sad. Does anyone know what kind of birds they are? They're really small. So, so you know, they're just really small. Anyway. She could Google. Like, I mean, I could too. But she, she's there. She could Google. Guys, thank you for listening to me talk. Oh, I thought so, Has. I didn't think that song was Snow White. I thought that song was... um. What's the Snow White song? It's... I mean, there's Hi Ho, I guess. I'm trying to think of her. I don't even know if the introductory song is sung. I think it's just like sound. I haven't, I haven't watched Snow White in so long. Uh, Aaron, thank you for being here for three months. I appreciate it, mate. Aaron says the nature is being rudely interrupted by Chantel. Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming those animals see a human in a nature reserve and think, "Oh, look, that one has food." And, you know, fair assessment for Chantel. Um, just in a very, like, thoughtful mood today, so. And oh, it's when she's at the well, Erin. Yes, you're right. You're right, you're right. Not that song. That song is, like, Sleeping Beauty or something, I think. Uh, Chuck, thank you for being here for 17 months. I appreciate it. Chuck says, one day my prince will come. Oh, that's right. That is Snow White. Snow White? That is Snow White. Yeah, no, that's when she's at the well with the animals coming up to her. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Gotcha. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. No, it is someday. You're right. All right, Chantal. Thank you so much for showing us Canadian nature. I appreciate it. Come here. Oh, God, I wish you would shut up. <laughs> Bye. What is this? A tortoise crossing. Turtle crossing. Or tortoise, how do you know? I mean, they're on land. Anyway, thanks so much, Chantal, for showing us more of Canadian nature. I appreciate it. Uh, for those of you who are not here for Ambie, I totally understand. But we're going to move on to the once queen of Girl World, Miss Amberlyn Reed, and her most recent upload, I'm in a relationship, stepping on the scale, and Torrid Hall. For those of you who are leaving, if you'd like to hit the like button, I'd appreciate it. If you don't want to, that's totally understandable as well. This has not been my best... <laughs> My best stream. But that's okay. We're here to have fun. And fun we shall have. Thank you very much for the awkward turtle body. I appreciate it. Hello. Here's the Ambi. Here's going on. All right, everyone. Let's get to... Let's... Oh, ow! <laughs> there we go. All right. Excellent. I should break out the wifey sweater. Still got that one. Anyway. Okay, so because I opened up with you guys about how I was overeating because Trader Joe's triggered me. I'm sorry. Hi, guys. Welcome to another vlog. N none of that. Just straight into Trader, <laughs> Trader Joe's triggered me. All right. A lot of people assumed that I ate all my Trader Joe's food. No, a lot of it I didn't even open. Like, I haven't had the oh my ears. mashed potatoes. I haven't had the meatballs. Um, majority of the TV dinners I haven't had. Man, the fact that you have all of this as a single person who doesn't have to work, fuck. Haven't had the chicken tacos, haven't had the, uh, what are these? Chicken poppers. You should learn to cook. I feel like you would enjoy it. Probably not. I mean, it is effort and she's not a big fan of that. Uh, Naomi, hello, lovely. Thank you so much for joining the channel as a member, mate. I appreciate it. Chat, everyone say hi to Naomi, please. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Appreciate the support. Um, what else was it that I got? Oh, I got this recently. Veggie chorizo. Kind of want to try that. Um, haven't even opened the chicken. 
Sorry, this is the crinkling is hurting my ears as well. I'm sorry. Hot stickers. Haven't opened the Thai vegetable geyser. I geyser? I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm sorry. Majority of it, I didn't even. Yoza. Just like look it up. Touch. So I just wanted to make that clear. Okay. Great. Thanks so much for making that clear. She seemed depressed. She's already upset with us. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. So today for me. That's what I was expecting. Why did we get that first bit? It's just like a deep cleaning day, like mopping the whole nine yards. I even got a new litter box. Ooh. Just like there's steps to a litter box. You know, you clean it daily, but once a week yeah. you deep clean it. But like every other month yeah. I like to get a completely new one, but just things like that. And every month? What do you, what are they made of? I, it's been a while since I had a cat, but we used to just have like the hard plastic ones. Then we do the liner and then we do the litter. And then we'd clean it as it needed and then replace it as it needed. I'm not going to throw out the hard plastic litter box shelf. What are you talking about? And so that's why I'm keeping my hair up. I literally just washed it yesterday. It is a frizzy mess, but we're just going to... That's very wasteful. She has two cats. She's likely at least got two litter boxes. Possibly three. Maybe not. I like embrace it. It's because it's super windy outside. And I just got back in from... The thing says she just lets it pile up and throws the whole shitty thing away. I mean, yeah. Walking Twinkie and... Always off camera, always. And my frizzies were just like flying everywhere. Someone teach her about bleach. I actually have weighed in a couple... Oh, Kathy, hello. Thank you so much for joining the channel as a member, mate. I appreciate it. Everyone say hi to, to Kathy. I hope you're having a good day. Hello. Nice to see you. Times. Two to three times. I don't quite remember. Regardless, I do want to put them... In. She's the most caring because she buys new boxes. That's what it is. In here for you guys so we can have a little update on my weigh-in. Okay, you guys. Oh, so... yeah, it has. That's an even better idea. Like, I would understand having multiple and then swapping them in and out, like, every week if that was something. But, like, throwing them all away seems very wasteful. Time for another weigh-in. So, let's do that. Okay. Hello. It's ready. It's ready. All right. Stepping on. 490.8 pounds. 490.8? What? See? All that water weight that I gained from being off a track? Getting back on track? Yeah, it's not off a track, it's just off track. I instantly lost it. Oh, Boopa, hey mate, good to see you. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for gifting five channel memberships. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, welcome or welcome back to Lock Mew. Shay, Cosmic, and Lola, thank you all so much for being here. Please make sure you thank the lovely Boot Snoop. Sorry, Boop Snoop. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I appreciate it. Sorry, I can't talk today. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to step on the scale with clothes. What scale is this? Is this the Hello It's Ready scale? This looks different to the Hello It's Ready scale. Um, Hello. A lot of people don't believe my weigh-ins, but... When did she get this scale? I don't know. Here we go. Also, are we in the bathroom? Because this doesn't seem like it's in the bathroom. Why do I not... Like, maybe it's just because it's ambient. I have an instant, like... Cynical element when it comes to ambient. But, like, this... I feel like we're not in the bathroom and this isn't the correct scale. That might be m me gaslighting myself. 492.6 pounds. Okay. It looks very new. It's literally got the remove film before use film on top of it. What is going on? Because wasn't the one she had, didn't have like a thing with like cables on it that she also had to press? Is that the car parts one? I can't remember. This is very strange. Now I'm gonna do it without clothes. Okay guys, stepping on without any clothing or slippers. 489.0 pounds. 489.0. <laughs> she buys a new litter box, she buys a new skate. Which is how I always weigh myself. <laughs> Do you know what I really miss? I really miss the Jenny Craig. Again? So we're making progress. <laughs> I know I shouldn't, but damn if that wasn't way more interesting. Yes. So I did step on the scale for you guys. I figured it was time. I know like, you know what? It's really strange to me. The bar constantly moves. Like no one's ever happy with my weigh-ins regardless of how I post them. Ambie, it's just because pe like you've lied to your audience. People are generally pretty conscious of all of that stuff. That's it. There's no, there's very little coming back from that. Like, very, I think very few people will ever turn around and be like, you know what, I trust Amber it, it, implicitly with everything she's telling us on the internet. No. <laughs> I don't think I don't think anyone's that foolish. But those are that's for the supporters. 
the supporters who want to see me step on the scale i give it to you we can do more like that if you would like but there's just physically no way i could have faked that i was standing in the middle of my bathroom you guys watched me turn on the scale i don't really know but regardless i am back to my lowest weight and sure. i'm very happy about that it happened really quickly because i knew i gained a lot <sighs> but just see oh my god hi but just said sup enjoy the name but just sees i eat his leaky Mm, oh, thank you so much for being here for 30 months, my friend. I hope you've been keeping well. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Of water weight, and so it left my body. <laughs> I do like your name's funny. <laughs> You're a poet. I knew that the weight that I gained when I was like off track for those six days wasn't real weight. And I think that's why like I had a moment where I was like super upset with myself and like I did cry <laughs> because it's like I was doing so good. But I think that's why like I was able to pick myself back up. Normally okay. during times like this, like where I gain weight, I just continue to do so. I stay off a track, like I don't care. It's just off track. It's not off a track. Because it gets to me. It gets There's to my head. It's not a singular track. Head. But I feel like I've improved. My mentality has drastically improved, like let's be real, in like several different areas of my life. And this definitely involves weight loss as well. So instead of gaining those 10 pounds and regretting it, but continuing the pattern, I gained those 10 pounds, regretted it, and told myself, you're better than this. Let's pick it back up and get back on track. Like, and I would be really interested to understand, like, the actual physiology of gaining 10 pounds in six days and losing it over however many days. Like, that just seems, like, if I even if I convert it to kilos, if I said five kilos, gaining five kilos in six days, like, that's... Just the, like, bodily function of that seems so, like, interesting. And that's not, like, a specific thing at Ambi. That's just a biology kind of question. In the past, I'd be sitting here right now with another three or four pounds gained. 100%. I'd be going in the opposite direction than I'm going now. So anyways, I'm just really happy about that. So I want to give you guys an update. So some of you have been like, I know my closet's crazy. Some of you have been like, oh my God, like where's the torrid halls? So I did- Where are the torrid halls? Go to torrid. No, I didn't. I didn't go there. I ordered from there, sorry. And I spent $500, $500 on- $500 doll hairs. Bunch of stuff. <laughs> Here is <laughs> one. It's like this dress. Oh good. We're getting a haul where she sh shoves fabric in front of the camera. Great! And the neckline goes up to here, which I love sometimes. I, the fucking wear, mate. Like. And the arms are like bell arms, but I do feel like it's just- Are they? Because I couldn't- This is the worst haul. This is- I feel robbed. What a terrible haul. I thought we were doing a torrid haul! It's a fluid retention mechanism of edema. She's likely feeling hard, swollen, and the legs- Oh. Well, yes, and I mean, that's the other interesting thing as well. She was told low salt, low carb at a time. Remember when she was seeing the lipedema, lymphedema, lymphedema rather, specialist? And she said no. So, and the other thing, like, about that whole processed food, frozen food conversation is that, yeah, her sodium level is supremely high. And I guess you're right, like, that's that holding water function of an increased sodium diet and the edema and everything. Yeah, it's wild. Um, Mai, thank you very much for the super chat, lovely. Mai says, if you eat a thing, gained water weight, then lost the weight, you didn't pee it out. That's not how thermodynamics works. Yeah, two different, two different mechanisms at work, I suppose. <laughs> thank you for the super chat, Mai, I appreciate it. And Lilith, welcome back. Thank you very much for being here for 12 months. I appreciate it, Lilith says. Just wait for it. There's panties coming. Oh, Lilith, why did you tell me? Happy anniversary. Thanks for being here. Um, Lottie says, I'd like to request an audience poll. Of course. Would you rather $300 worth of Lush? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, audience poll. Okay. The hold, hold on. Hold on. Start the poll. Would you rather, is the question, $300 of Lush, $300 of Lush, Wait, 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 wait. Or well, $500 a torrid, but you have to use slash wear everything you buy to end of life. End of, uh, clarify, end of your life or end of, like, fabric life? Let's just say until end of life, because I'm running out of, out of characters. Both, why not both? End life. Okay, that gives me two characters to spend. Would you rather... Okay. 
fabric or set. Oh, both. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, how do I do this? Five hundred dollars of tolerant wearing until life. Sure. Wearing until end. End. Wearing till end. There you go. Three hundred dollars of lush wearing until end. <laughs> or fabric until end. There you go. You all understand. Okay, here. There's your poll. I hope that worked. Great. Chat. Feel free. It's too frumpy for me. And then I got this crazy thing. So I love Again, it. you say it's frumpy. I, all I saw was a black piece of fabric. I couldn't give you I can couldn't give you anything. Cute, but I Ooh, this is some silver metallic stretch fabric. I'm not a fan. Definitely will feel more comfortable in this once I lose weight. It is No. Is a very no, no. 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 Do you all remember um Chantel's fashion show with that little that little store in Quebec or wherever it was? Right, I remember the piece de resistance of that fashion show was that um, silver lame look. Um, and it had like some structure to it and some pattern to it, which kind of saved it. This is literally just a bolt of that fabric. This is some like stretchy aluminium shit. No, this is a no. No one looks good in this. No one. Because it's a four way stretch, it's going to, it's sticking to your body, and you are going to essentially look like either the Tin Man. Or like one of those Jiffy Pop things with the popcorn. We don't actually have those either, but I know those as a pop culture reference. No, no. This fabric is a no. <laughs> Just, no. Very long shirt. It's kind of like a shirt dress. Um, it just doesn't look good on me right now. It w it's not going to look good on anyone. It is awful. This, which is kind of frumpy too. It's Why did you buy these things? White with black stripes. And I wish I would have gotten a size smaller. And sure, whatever. And there's actually one of the dresses Three I dresses. already worn, which I'll post here. So this is one of my new ones, which I loved a lot. Four dresses. Dress shirts, dresses. Oh, this one's cute. I like this one. The button's up the front and the little, like, poofy sleeve. But then over here, in my clean clothes... It's not really good giving us a lot to work with with this. This pile that I have to put away. Um, I've already worn this. I didn't vlog, I didn't film any TikToks, nothing. Just like the sheer no. blue situation. No, 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 no. Just go out and buy a fucking bolt of tulle. This, unless you're going to like a rave or Mardi Gras, I, no, no. Um, oh my God, it looks so much better in person. And then another thing. Better, it's a sheer blue t-shirt. <laughs> Made from taffeta or something. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Which I have in a box. I actually just went through my closet. Like, what's she wearing under that? I'm, like, rearranging it. I'm getting rid of a ton of clothes. But I got this dress, and I was like, if I don't like it on me, I know my mom will like it because she likes bees. Let me go get it. Hold on. <gasps> on bees. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. Since it's frumpy on me, it's probably not going to fit her. It might be too big. I, th I think it might be, yeah. I think this... I like bees. So I think this fabric might be better, like, unstitched. And turned into like a pillowcase or something. Actually, She's getting I... ready for festival season. <laughs> no, it will be. But maybe she can use it like as a sleep nighty. I don't know, but regardless. Disco Lynn? I'm sure she's. Raver Lynn. She's gonna appreciate it and wanna try it on, but it's just a bunch of like. Okay, hold on. Let's get let's get nice and close up in here. Chat, what do we think of the fabric at least? The bees are fun. I like the bees. Do you like the bees? I like the bees. I think she should make this into like pillowcases or something. That'd be fun. Like uh, bumblebees and dots. I'm pretty sure there was a couple other things, but I'm just not, I don't know. I'm not quite remembering, but I did get a lot of underwear and some of them I haven't even opened. I hate disco lean. Hate it. You guys don't like it? I think I like the bees. I don't like the actual like rest of the fabric. It's just the bees. I'm biased towards a bee. Oh, a tablecloth or something. That could be nice. Or like one of those little like string bags. Like the little sacks that you like pull the strings on, you know, like the sporty ones. I like that. Like I got these light purple lace. Sorry, I missed it. Are we now talking about knickers? Things, but I'm just not. I don't know. I'm not quite remembering, but I did get a lot of underwear and some. All right, chat. We're up to panty talk with Amberlyn. Some of them I haven't even opened. Why are we? Okay, I have an honest. I have an actual honest question. 
and this won't have anything to do with the um the pole. Why are we unpacking and hauling underwear? Why is that? Why is why is that? Why is she showing undies? That's a good question. I don't know why. I just don't. I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand. Like, they're called unmentionables for a reason. We don't need to talk about the undergarments. <laughs> did I say knickers like a Brit? I did. I said knickers. Yes. <laughs> we. I mean, I would just call these underwear. Panties is not the not. Does not sit well with me. Thirst trap. <laughs> like, I got these light. Oh, sorry. Purple lace. They're like a uh, forest green. And there's like some black lace on them. You guys can't even really see it. Black. No, and we don't need to see it. Like, they're not. Oh, no. Lace. Pink with some polka dots. And okay. also some lace. <laughs> I love lace. And then this is like my favorite underwear from them, which I might just like stock up on it and like get a lot more. It's just black with a little turret on top. I just think it's so cute. Oh, like, yeah, great, like, boxer brief situation type of deal. I love that. But yeah, like, Torrid is so expensive, and it's just, like, I don't know. <sighs> oh, my God, Lotion Up just said, remember she wants those big bloomers. <laughs> bloomers is a good word Um, in her mouth. Yeah, didn't she? What did she say? My my mind's protecting me from that memory, Lotion. Um, Was the kind of sort of phrase, was it? Tie me up and put my panties in my mouth? Was that the... <laughs> Was that... Were those the words that she said? I feel like those were the words that she said. I think that's... I think that's what she said. And I hate the fact that that is a memory in my brain. <laughs> Not Amber hungry for knickers, Lynn. Oh no. I don't like that at all. <laughs> is that why she's showing us the bloomers? I can't decide which word is, 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 I know like panties I think is the worst word. <laughs> Should really just default to underwear. I think that's, I think. Now I certainly don't want the five hundred dollars worth of torrent. The shopping trip hit or miss. It was slightly a miss. Okay, so for those of you who have been asking about my Lego, the Batman Shadow Box that Yes, I've been so interested. Valentine got me. I want Valentine? I'm gonna give you the update. So I'm not finished yet, but this is how it is looking so far. Okay. Look at all that. It is so cool. Like this part, you can like turn the thing in the back. And you get to see all that go down. These chairs move. Over here. Like, this opens, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it does. But my table isn't, like, big enough for this. So it's been a challenge to build it. But I love a challenge. Um, this goes up as well. But, yeah, that's how it's looking so far. Oh, uh, drawers. GG, yes. But isn't it? It's There's an extra sound in there. Drawers. Draw, draw, drawers. I still have quite a bit to do. It has honestly been so fun. Here's the back of it. I've been trying to take my time. I'm just so appreciative that Valentine got me this. Like, it's so sweet. She's never really struck me as a big Batman fan, but okay. Um, speaking of Valentine, there's something I have to tell you guys. You do have a little plant in your way. Let me move that. So Instagram kind of already knows this because- Oh my God, how dare they? They didn't care to share? No, I'm just kidding. I see it when I doom scroll on Twitter all the time. Things are revealed over there, so if you want to follow my Instagram, you definitely should. No, thank you. It's fine. Make the entertainment so I can have a laugh, please. Look down in the description box. But if you guys remember this video, there is someone in my life that I would say is special um, in that way. I have been... Is this not just like a couple of weeks ago? ...friends with this person since September, and we have become really good friends, and like the whole time crushing on each other. But we asked each other to be each other's valentines, so that was like a cute thingy. And that video... I'm gonna need a timeline. Was actually filmed days before Valentine's Day actually was, but. 
Right, so Valentine's Day is like the middle of February. She's saying that was filmed just before Valentine's Day. If we say early February. Wasn't she... Didn't she come online and say, Oh my god, you guys, I broke my no contact suggestion with Fleen in January? So she'd been talking to this person since September. Crushing on them. Reached out to Fleen in January. And then... Since that didn't work, and Fleen didn't respond, um, decided to settle with Valentine's. Got it. Suspicious. Suspicious. On Valentine's Day, Valentine asked me to be her girlfriend, and I did say yes, obviously. I've had a girlfriend for over two months now. What does- what did those- what- no, no you haven't, first of all. <laughs> no you haven't. What does the word girlfriend mean to you? Because, by all accounts, you've not met this person. And I'm sure that that story will change. I'm sure that she will come online in, like, three months' time and say, y'all, there are some crazy conspiracies out there, and not everybody knows what I do in my private life, but, um, you know, Valentine and I, yeah, we, you know, we caught up. She she came to Oklahoma, because she's not obviously not from, from here. V, v. Her state starts with V. Vidaho. Um, you know, she came over from Vidaho and, you know, we went out on a, like a cute date moment and that's why I was so quiet in, um, March? I don't know. Um, cause you know, and, and Valentine, oh, Valentine was secretly one of the friends that, uh, she went out with. Good theory. <laughs> Sorry, I talked myself into a theory there. <laughs> Hey, Cherry, good to see you. Oh, Vermont, Virginia. I knew there were... I was trying to think of North and South, but Virginia doesn't have a... <laughs> Virginia doesn't have a North and South. So instead I went straight to Ohio. Because, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> hmm. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Again, I have to, I do have to ask what the, the, what the title of Girlfriend means to you, because... For all intents and purposes, the story so far, you've never met this person. Again, it's the exact same concerns I had about Poopy. You've never met this person and you're calling them your partner. Okay, interesting. And I've been in a relationship and I've been happy. And I just didn't want to say anything, like, really in my vlogs yet. I just didn't feel like I needed to. Okay. I used to overshare. I used to, like, not have privacy. And it's just, as you get older, your brain works a little differently and I yeah it does i think as you get older you mature to the point of like understanding like even if you do meet someone online or, or whatever even even if that's the case i think that a lot of more moderate mature people like also understand that you don't know a person until you've met a person you know and generally there's a I don't know. I generally, I feel as if there's just a little bit of a, a little bit of a reserved moment of, I don't know, sensibility and understanding that like, I guess you can't really be a thing, a couple, like your relationship is only limited to kind of pixels on a screen until you do have the moment of like being with that person in person. There is kind of a limitation there. I've just learned sharing too much is not a good thing, especially right now. But I did want to let you guys know that I am in a relationship. That has been a question that you guys have been wondering. So I figured, you know what? Yes, there's no longer- Okay, so a virtual relationship. Got it. You're single in. So that's all I really want to say for now. Besides that I'm really happy. I'm starting to like blush a little bit, not gonna lie. Are you? I don't see it. It just feels kind of wild to just like vocalize out loud on my YouTube channel that yes, I am in another relationship. Anyways, I don't want to like say too much, um, but you guys will learn more slowly but surely. Um, Do we think Valentine exists? Probably. Do we think Valentine is aware of Ambien, um, like her past, her content? Probably. Yeah, pro probably very familiar. Yeah. Do you think Valentine is aware of every minute detail of every relationship Amber's been in for the last 10 years? Yeah, probably. I mean, we are, so it's hard to hard to miss it, I guess. Huh. Anyway, that's fun. 
but yeah, I just want to do it on my time, on her time, our time collectively. I want to be fair to her, fair to me, fair to us as a whole. You are just talking garbage. Hey guys, I've been waiting for this package today. Ooh. That's mainly why I haven't fixed my hair at all today. Normally I would have at least like fixed the bun. So I have been seeing this hairbrush on TikTok. It's called the Unbrush Untangle. So I was like, <laughs> we're going to try that. It's a brush that untangles hair? Holy fuck! That's the first time I've ever heard of such a thing. People act like it just is the best thing that's been ever invented, so I'm like, okay. So are you watching? Are you watching TikToks again? I kind of want to try. Are you being influenced? Like half of my hair with my normal everyday brush, which has hair in it. So Valentine is Amber. <laughs> Don't mind that. And then this is the unbrush. Wow, it's like light. This feels cheap. Well, I don't understand. I don't get the hype. So let's do a review. So <laughs> okay. Is that not the point of a brush? <laughs> well, see, that's the thing, buddy. It means Valentine is definitely an audience member because that's who the undie hall was for. Because remember, remember what Ambie said? She said she wants to be tied up and have her panties put in her mouth. That was, that was like a that was like a a sneak peek, I suppose. Ew! Ew! <laughs> Abby, what is- why do you do this? <laughs> oh, wow, she is I don't want to brush my hair! Oh my god! I feel like that looks so pretty. Oh my god, my hair! <gasps> wow. Um, it's been up in a bun, man. That's right. Wait, am I rethinking this whole situation? I feel like my hair just... is hairy. <laughs> like, my hair is hairy. Once again, stop the presses, everybody. Hair is herring. Hair is herring. Brushes are untangling. Just, what a world. Cherry, thank you for the super chat. Uh, sorry, thank you for being here for 17 months, lovely. Cherry says, going to the beach today. Hope everyone is good. I'm good. I hope you enjoy the beach. Wear your sunscreen. Drink your water. Have fun. Good to see you. Hello. I don't know what to say. It's still a little bit wet from when I washed it. See, but it looks so good, like so weirdly good. Okay, so this is my regular hairbrush. Okay. So yeah. You know. like kind of knotted. I'll pull some hairs. It doesn't like hurt by no means. Let's take a final look at these curls. Wow, so pretty. All right, let's try it. I get it. People say literally it just runs. It's done exactly the same thing through your knots and like it doesn't hurt or pull <gasps> you just said the other side didn't hurt <gasps> i see what they're saying i will say like a lot of the reviews are like oh my god i didn't even feel it that's not true because i definitely did but i will say it does is this sponsored by the the untangle brush unbrush you brush what it does go through it like so smooth and i purposely chose this side because it has more hair so i figured it had more knots and it just seemed easier so okay i get the hype but i am about to put my hair back in a bun i'm not gonna lie to you oh wow how fun that was such a wonderful exercise how 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 fun for us Holly, hello, lovely. Thank you so much for gifting 10 channel memberships. I appreciate it. It's very kind and generous of you. Welcome or welcome back to Vale. Uh, sorry, Val, Hail, Hell. <laughs> Sarah Ann, six bacons. Good to see you, mate. Jerky, hello. No, sorry, Jackie. Hello. I, I can't talk or read today. Whispering Fairy, hello. Grateful Little Farm, Zara. Uh, circus Cattle. And Teddy. I think that's everyone. Thank you all so much for being here. Please make sure you thank the lovely Holly for the gift. That's very kind of you, mate. Thank you so much for your generosity. Um, and Sky Fiera, thank you for being here for 13 months. Sky Fiera says, can you repeat the Ambi Pop Panty as Foodie Tabloids? I'm going to need to think about that one. <laughs> I'm going to have to think about that one, Sky. We haven't got an Ambi Community Tab post in a while, huh? Maybe on her next one. It's on the list. Thank you for being here. <laughs> And Harley, thank you for 34 months, lovely. Harley says, good morning. Love it when I catch a live chat. Well, we're always happy to have you, mate. It's lovely to see you. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. And thank you so much again. 
2017 bun when I wore scrunchies on my hair. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I'm about to get ready for bed. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I'll see no. you in my next one. Bye. Okay, bye, Amby. Oh, boy. Okay, so Amby's not in, got a new galantine. And something about panties. How fun. How fun for us. Where did we land on, um, on the, uh, on the poll? It was pretty much split. 48% for the Lush and 52% for the Torrid. There you go. Hey, well, got split taste in the chat. That's good to see. Uh, and Cherry, thank you for the super chat, lovely. Cherry says, pardon me. Uh, lol, I showed my hairstylist Ambie's hair and she said that she should just cut it all off due to it being so damaged. I mean, fair, she did take a big chunk of it off and I kind of agree. It does seem to be a bit damaged. I don't know. Just, she should go see a hairdresser or a salon or something. Maybe they could help. Oh, a cute little, like, pixie cut? Or a bob? She should get a bob. Thank you for the super chat, lovely. All right, chat, we're done for today. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I hope you have a fabulous day and or night. Please make sure, once again, to wear your sunscreen, drink your water, hug a loved one, have a little snack, have a little nap, take care of yourself, make sure you laugh today. For those of you on the rewatch, I appreciate your comments, opinions, and eyeballs. Chat, you've been lovely, and I've been poppy, and I'm gonna go, because I gotta go to bed. So I'll see you